Good morning, it's Tatiana. Hey guys, I am ending week eight today. Or, yeah, I think it's today I'm ending it. And I wanted to make a video early on. And I'm telling y'all, I was exhausted. As soon as week eight started, I was just done. I wanted to sleep. And I, I, I slept a lot this week. I would sleep like 7 p.m., just exhausted and I still feel it but yesterday and today I feel a little bit more energy um, than in the beginning of the week so hopefully this face goes away soon I hate it I hate it I hate it uh, and then my taste buds have started to act funny so um, I'm not I don't have as much appetite as I had in the past with my other two kids um, in the morning um, I've been craving tropical smoothie a lot, like the orange glow, ginger glow with extra ginger. But this week I've been good. I don't think I've had any tropical smoothie this week. Um, so that has gone down a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> in the morning now, I just want something like with a strong taste to it. I don't like spicy food, but all of a sudden I'm kind of craving a little bit of spice um like a pepperish taste to it um so that's interesting and what else um well i kind of wanted to talk about another subject real quickly because you know i announced that i'm pregnant when i was weak very early on i think it was week six or seven um but i knew that i was um pretty early on and and, you know, it's kind of taboo for a lot of people to, a lot of women, especially women of color, to come out very early to say, you know, that they're pregnant. And I totally understand, you know, we have chances of of miscarriages very, very high at this time. And, I, I mean, not that I, it doesn't phase me, but I'm just, I don't really, I don't know how to say it. I guess... That doesn't just that doesn't scare me per se because I'm like if God gives gives it to you and He wants to take it back, I'm okay with that. Like I'm not gonna hide my happiness um, because you know I just don't want people to let, ask me later on what happened to your pregnancy. Things happen, which hopefully people don't ask people things like that because it's just kind of like obviously what do you think happened um it's a very sensitive thing for a lot of women and i totally get it um but at this point it's my last pregnancy i want to vlog about it from the beginning to the end so if god forbid but if it does happen that i don't carry all the way through i, I understand that it was god's plan it, it's nothing that i could do about it you know what i mean so it's very, very taboo for Africans to come out and say, I am pregnant a week four, week five. Like, seriously? They'll look at you like, why? And not only because of miscarriage purposes, but um, the African culture, some African cultures, um, the parents or the mother especially will tell you that don't tell anybody because people are jealous out there. They will poison you or they'll try to harm your kid and things like that. And... I've learned that when I, when you have God on your side, when you trust in God, when you have faith in God, and you you don't have anything that anything that you did wrong to the world or to anybody, you shouldn't be scared of those type of things. Because what did you do wrong? Like I just don't get it. I don't get when people are so scared. Like I don't want to share it with people yet, just because you know it's too early. You don't know what they're gonna do to you. You didn't do anything to anybody. You should not be expecting anybody to do anything wrong to you. And if you did some, if you didn't do anything, and somebody tries to harm you, you gotta trust God because you think you can handle, you can defend yourself. You can't defend yourself against any everybody. So you have to trust God. So that's the stand that I I take in any any spiritual attacks, any attacks from the spirit world. All of that, not I don't do it by my strength because I have no strength. I have to rely on God to fight for me and my kids and my family. So that's I wanted to kind of bring that topic up because I don't hear a lot of you know African women talk about those things, but I do 
here in the back but not in the open we don't usually talk about things like this but um and so i'm excited i am very exhausted as you can see i am breathing like i've ran a mar marathon <laughs> so i can't talk too much i can't do too much but i want to i feel like during the day i have more energy but at night i crash like around six o'clock as soon as i get home i crash but i have two other kids to deal with god give me the strength because it is tough but we're gonna make it through it all right guys thank you for listening if you have any questions about my journey please let me know if you have any suggestions on how to get more energy let me know because i would need that um all right, that's all I want to talk about today. You guys have a great day. Bless weekend. Bye-bye.